I'm honestly not sure what to expect today. We are almost at the end of the game. Last three levels. And last level we've been basically introduced a new mechanic. And I'm not sure whether they will keep it or just keep introducing new weird mechanics each level. Either way, this is going to be quite difficult. Right, so last time we've done the binary counter, I wasn't able to complete any of the optional challenges. I was just happy that it was over and that I managed to create at least some solution. And today, so we can do something a little different, we're gonna do a decimal counter. Okay, I, I somehow feel that it's gonna be even harder than the binary counter. Oh shit. Right, so the counting machine has been upgraded and it works with decimal numbers. Each digit can represent numbers between 0 and 9, of course. So, what the shit? So we're supposed to make the green display count up to 1 million and 2, starting from 999981. At least, that's the starting number is the number on those cubes. So I'm happy with that. Now, how does it work? Each cube represents a single decimal digit, right? Place digit on the green sensors and then press the button. Uh, no cube is a zero. All right, or a zero is a zero. So first off, everyone, just like last time, pick up your cubes and take two steps down. Oh, but before you do, you should probably drop the cubes. Well, I, I think what happens now is they pick up the cubes and he also presses the button and it's gonna be zero. Let me see. Yeah, that's zero, all right. And since he's complaining that he has nothing to pick up, there's enough time for them to drop the cubes as well, I believe. Let's see, drop, press, and that's it. Nice. So we've got the first number and what we need to do then is for this person to increment his number twice uh, no, I, I don't mean twice, I mean like all the way to 9, then back to 0, and once he hits 9, he should also tell this lady to go to 9, and so basically once someone picks up a 9 and wants to increment it, they nudge the person next to them. Right, so that should be easy, famous last words. Alright, so let's say the person on the button is gonna be listening and these people are gonna hopefully tell him when it's his time to step on the button so he's gonna listen for ready and once he hears ready he needs to press the button so he's gonna step up and down so let's make him step up and be ready actually and then step down on the button again and jump here okay great so at first he presses the button then he steps up and waits there. Once the people tell him that they're ready, he's gonna step down and up again and keep waiting. Now as for these people, they have dropped the cubes and I think this rightmost person is gonna have to do stuff. So if to the right of you there isn't a person, a worker, you're this guy. Because everyone else either has a worker or is locked in this button area. So I'm gonna deal with you a little later. You're also gonna be here forever. But otherwise, I mean, no, we don't need an else branch, do we? I hope not. Otherwise, listen for go. So once the person next to you tells you go, what you do is you pick up a data cube, you calculate in memory one what's your item, the data cube, plus one and you write the result on the data cube. However, oh wait, I'm gonna do it like this, because he said that if you go above nine, so 10, 11, it's gonna go boom. And I'm interested to know whether this machine actually blows up. So, so this is an issue because someone is gonna increment a nine, write a 10, place it down, and the machine is not gonna know what to do with that. Okay, let's, let's just write a nine. I mean a 10. Heck, let's write an 11. <laughs> Drop the cube and sell everyone ready. So trigger the button guy. Let's see what happens. Go down, yeah. And, oh shit, they didn't pick up the cube again. Right, so they should, where is it? Pick it up again. And I'm afraid they're gonna pick it up before he steps. Oh no, they managed. Oh, 
Oh, so they blew up. Not the machine. The data cubes themselves. Well, that's lovely. I had fun. Did you have fun, guys? <laughs> why, why do I have this here? Tell everyone what? Why is this here? Nope, that shouldn't be there. So anyway, they're going to pick up the cubes and drop them. No, no, no. So he pressed the button. Pick up the cube. Nope. Uh, yeah, just like that. Uh, pick up your cube. Once you're told, go. Then I'd say if there's like a bunch of way of doing this, but if your item is a nine, you're not going to calculate. You're going to write zero. So let's set memory one to zero. Otherwise, calculate your item plus one. Then you're going to write that number on your data cube. And actually, if you have written a zero, you want to nudge the person next to you as well. I see. So these two branches are going to be needed again. I'm just going to write the same code twice, because why not? So here we need to just write a zero. Here, write memory one. Once you've done that, you obviously need to drop the cube but sometimes you need to trigger the person to the left of you. That's when. You need to trigger them once you overflow your number. So that's here. So you're going to tell go to the person to the left of you. Go there. We don't need to really care about this person since he has no one to tell go to. But he's also never going to overflow since we're stopping at 1 million two. So tell go and then you need to jump back to listening. OK, great. Otherwise, you simply calculate, write and drop. Now here you can actually drop after telling. You can actually tell right away so we don't waste any time and the other person can start calculating and writing numbers. And if you don't overflow, once you drop the cube, you're going to have to tell everyone and specifically this person that he should press the button and he's listening for ready. So tell everyone ready. And then you also want to jump back to here. So I'm going to move this jump like that. So this is a loop. Every one of these people should be doing basically. And I have here that the rightmost person is going to wait and he's going to do something else. But now that I've written this, I see that he's going to do exactly the same thing. He just needs to be triggered by this go. So, Mr. Button Man, once you step up from the button, you tell these people, specifically this person, that you're ready, honestly, you're ready to go. <laughs> you're ready to press the button again. So you're armed. The button is armed. So you need to tell the person to the left of you go there. This is going to work beautifully. So they should all be on this line at this point. He's going to tell go. This person should already be listening. And he's going to pick up, you know, right shit. I mean, come on, let's do it. Yeah, complain. Press the button. Good. Nothing to drop. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why did you complain? You have nothing to drop. No, 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 no. Let's drop it here. Yes, yes, yes. Let's drop it here, actually. And now that I think about it, we can. Those two drops are basically at the end, so we might want to remove them and move the jump like that. However, I fear that if we tell ready and then drop, he's gonna press the button faster than they can drop the cube. Well, that's an issue for another time, but right now I think I've sped up the process by not having this guy complain that he can't drop. So they drop. Yeah, that's the number. Go. You should write two. One plus one is two. That's a two. Ready. Oh, look, it's fucking working. I mean, come on. I actually think that I could have done this bit of code on the binary counter as well. The logic is exactly the same, isn't it? Yes, it actually is. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot. I wrote an overcomplicated code last time. And I think people in the comments have said that I'm an idiot and I could have just done this. Anyway, we've got how many? 22 commands. I have no idea how many commands the size challenge is. But let's see, he now writes a 9 and now is going to be the moment of truth. So go 0 9. Oh, that's incredible. 
and now we need to cycle through nine numbers again so let's do this a little a lot faster actually stop 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 there we go that's a nine go and now something wonderful is gonna happen zero go zero oh look at that cascade and the last person is gonna write a one beautiful so we're at one million and we just need one million and two and that should be it let's see nicely done one two three are you gonna count all the way to million yeah you believe me good so let's see the challenges 23 a 22 commands easy but it took a lot of time that's not good 10 seconds how the frick am i gonna shave off 10 seconds so the things that take a lot of time is all that tell and go bullshit but i think we're gonna have to do it like that you could pick up here after you tell go yeah pick up here and after you tell go so so once they go through the million there's a lot of people you know having to pick up and then tell go but they actually can say not my item but the item they're standing on so look at the ground if it's a nine already tell go then waste time picking it up okay let's try this one and whilst it's going i'm gonna just think of another solution then I want to try the drop thingy, you know, improvement. Oh no, but they're just shaving of a single command. That's not time optimization, so never mind. Let's see. Did we shave off a couple seconds? What the fuck? It's actually slower. Are you shitting me? So so it seems <laughs> it seems that the them checking out what's on the ground takes longer than looking in their hands. Okay, not good. Do I need to calculate? I think I really, really do. Now, let's try the drop thing anyway. So, like that. So they first drop the cubes, start listening, then this all is the same, but once they finish writing, they jump back here and tell everyone ready as well. So hopefully the person telling ready is gonna have enough time to drop. Let's see. Oh, actually, wait, whoa, 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 whoa already holding something uh what the fuck i think i forgot to remove this pickup never mind let's try again yeah it seems to be working so just slow it down for a second so you tell this and she writes and tell and drop it yeah just a millisecond apart she manages to drop the cube before this person is able to step on the button so i think this is the right approach and we're down to 20 commands as well. Let's see the time. So size challenge even better. Three commands off and shit. But is this better? I forgot what the number I had there was before. I think it was over 150 seconds. So it's certainly better. Now, there is a way of doing this without tell and go. Uh, tell and listen, I mean. So you're gonna not listen for go. You're not gonna be telling go, neither will you. So the button person is gonna have to listen for ready, that's for sure. But here, when do you want to start this... Oh shit, where was the... Oh shit. Where was the go command? Can I control Z? No, I can't. Uh, damn it. Uh, anyway, the solution I had before was drop and then listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the listen was here. So what I'm thinking is only get triggered if either you see from this position a person on the button obviously means that you're supposed to start going or you're gonna see that the person next to you has put down a zero because once they do you know they've overflowed and you're supposed to go you know do shit so you write a zero yeah that's that's right otherwise you don't if you write a zero, you want to nudge the next person and they're gonna see it. So, if to the bottom right of you, uh, there is a... Simply a worker, not a button, a worker. That means there's a worker on the button, for sure. That's when you're gonna get triggered. Or, the person next to you has a zero. But I want to do it so that if this doesn't... You know, if this isn't true, you repeat and wait until it is true. So, there isn't a worker or the right thingy 
is not a zero. Now I can't really do these if statements properly. I might have fucked this up. So let me think about this. This person, is there a worker? No. Or to the right, isn't a zero. Yeah, that, that could work. Let, let's try it. Place down the cubes and you didn't get triggered. So if there was a worker, oh wait, let's do it differently. Let's wait until this button presser is here, because he might have missed him. So let's say to the right of you, there must be a work. No, 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 there isn't a worker. And it is a, it is not a zero there, because I think that this empty spot is also a zero. I hope so. Put down. Why the fuck are you picking it up? So you right there is a person and it's not a zero i don't understand all oh, right so the jump doesn't happen i'm just so bad with these boolean thingies you know what let's just make two commands because i'm an idiot so let's say if there is a worker to your right and his number is a zero that's when you want to continue otherwise keep checking and basically we could rewrite this if statement and these two jumps wouldn't be so idiotic and there would be just this single jump like that anyway i can't do it so this should hopefully work now you should see a person you don't see a person oh all oh, right because next to there probably isn't a zero shit so can i say bottom right is the worker and or next to there is a zero hopefully this is gonna work yeah yeah he's seen him so that's a two that's a ready and you've missed him shit because he spent time dropping the data cube with the number two on it already said ready to this person and he you know pressed the button oh so so this first thing is just to trigger uh, the person on the right i just have to clean this bullshit and then it's gonna work and it's gonna be fast so either to the right of you there is a worker or you see a zero. No, uh, there is a worker. No, 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 no. And we don't want this person to get triggered too early. We really need to see him that he's pressing the button. So I think it's gonna have to be like this. And here you have to drop in a different way. So, so let's put the drops back in. So you have to drop before you tell ready because we want you to be watching the guy pressing the button so bottom right there is a worker or next to there is a zero that's when you want to do this let's see put down yeah you've seen him calculate a two put it down then tell ready and see him again okay now what's gonna happen on nine that's it ready you've seen him put zero you put nine then tell already this guy should see you there and shit he didn't see you that was the number one problem and also this freaking lady saw that you had a zero ah shit we could uh, not watch the zero but have the people stand like in this row and make them step down each time and once they step down and they've you know done a zero or whatever that's the way we could shave some time but i think that would take longer and it would be so hard to code i don't think it's supposed to be that way oh you could do it when you see a zero but also your item can't be a zero as well no it yeah 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 so if your item is a zero and you see a zero that wouldn't work because of this person well Honestly, I'm, I'm quite happy. I'm an idiot for discarding this code and not using the three tabs. So write three bits of code. Now I have to recreate all of this bullshit. So I think you tell to the left person, go here. They all listen for go. And they drop the cube like this. Tell everyone ready. And here you tell the left person, go. I think, does this work? Let me just quickly see. Yeah, yeah, it's working. 20 commands. And just quickly, 
and we're gonna celebrate if this works because I'm not doing any more bullshit again. Yay, celebration! Okay, this worked. 20 commands, 146. I need 26 seconds somewhere. And honestly, I wouldn't say listen and but just telling takes 26 seconds. I mean, come on. I mean, it kind of could. There's 21 numbers here we need to go through. I just can't think of a way to do this right now. If you can, please do let me know. I really enjoy reading all the comments. And right now, I'm just gonna enjoy this marvelous counter I've written.